Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about quadratic equations with square roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 9r squared minus 3 equals a negative 152, and we have to solve this equation by taking the square roots. First thing I want to do is, well, I want to get add a 3 to both sides. I want to get r by itself here. Adding 3 to both sides gives me a 9r squared equals negative 152 plus 3 is a negative 149. Not too bad. Divide both sides by 9. And now I have r squared by itself. And really, well, negative 149 divided by 9 doesn't really simplify anymore. So negative 149 over a 9. Bummer. Well, to get rid of the square, I take a square root of both sides. I square root both sides, and I'll put it up here. And r equals, well, we take a square root of both sides, we have to do a plus or minus, and we have plus or minus the square root, and the square root can go to the numerator and denominator individually. So the square root of negative 149 over the square root of 9. Well, hmm. Breaking this down a little more, r equals plus or minus here, we can't take a square root of a negative. So we're going to have an imaginary number here, okay? Well, the square root of negative 149 is the square root, same thing as the square root of a positive 149 times the square root of a negative 1. Over square root of 9, we know that to be 3. Well, what's the square root of negative 1? That's i. So we have r equals plus or minus square root of 149 times i over 3. The square root of 149 actually doesn't break down or simplify anymore. So when we we basically done, but writing this as our final answer here, we don't need to write the plus or minus, let's so separate it out. Writing uh, properly, we put an i first, so we have i times the square root of 149 over 3, and then we have to make sure we get the negative version of this. So negative i square root of 149 over 3, and that's it. That is our final answer. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.